this video is about self myofascial release or foam rolling. All our muscles from head to toe in our body are connected with fascia. Fascia surrounds everything and it has a very important role in how we feel and perform. It can develop restrictions, becomes unhealthy and very tense by lack of movement, overuse or injury. The techniques shown in this video are designed to restore healthy fascia by breaking up adhesions, improving blood circulation and restoring healthy mechanics in the restricted area. By regular practice, you can improve your flexibility, getting rid of painful spots and increasing the speed of your recovery. There are three main techniques I like to use when I'm rolling. I'll show you on my forearm, if the muscle bundles are running this way, the first is the linear rolling. I'm kind of elongating the muscle fibers. The second, when I stop at a higher density area and I start the cross rolling, they also call it cross friction, kind of perpendicular to the muscle fibers. And the third is the sustained pressure. When I stop over a higher density not a spot and I'm just relaxing, Breathing is very important here. You exhale and you get rid of the tension. When you roll, don't roll over joints or bony surfaces. Also avoid injured or inflamed areas. So you might ask, what is the best time to do foam rolling? Really any time of the day. I prefer to do before or after my workouts, or if I do the deeper, the sustained pressure method, I like to do that on my off days or recovery days, so I can spend more time on that affected area. The only two things you will need is a soft foam roller and a little ball, which can be a tennis ball or a soft foam ball. Later on you can progress to a lacrosse ball. You can also use this white popular soft foam roller and later on you can progress to the higher density black roller. Remember, when you release stress from your body, you release stress from your mind as well. Start practicing and feel the instant benefits for your health.